So how to explain data engineering project in an interview? This is the most toughest question that everyone should go through. In this video, I'm gonna explain my one of the recent project. So in my recent project, I built a customer analytics platform to create a 360 customer view for marketing teams. We ingested the data from six different sources like Salesforce, SAP, Clickstream Logs, and Payment Gateway, etc. into ADLS. The solution follows the medallion architecture. It includes bronze layer, silver layer, and the gold layer. Branch hold the raw data, silver hold the cleaned and curated data, and gold contain the business ready data set. Process was done in a Databricks with the Delta Lake, and the final data was loaded into the Snowflake for Power BI dashboards. So I designed and developed an ETL flow of total 12 ETL flows. For example, a customer master pipeline that processed approximately 50 GB daily from Salesforce, a Clickstream streaming pipeline handles more than 200 GB per day in near real time and a payment reconciliation pipeline combines the ERP and payment data. So my main responsibilities including building the PySpark jobs, optimizing the joins and partition for better performance and implementing the incremental delta loads. The entire flow was unit tested, orchestrated using Azure Data Factory with CACD through Azure DevOps for automated deployments. On the non-functional side, we ensured the scalability for auto-scaling with database clusters, role-based access control and auditing for security, data quality checks using the great expectation, and monitoring with Azure Monitor plus Slack alerts. To keep cost low, we use the spot instances, auto-terminated ideal clusters, and archived cold data. For example, a customer master pipeline cost around $5 per run, while the streaming pipeline cost about $20 per day. So overall, this project cut report generation time by 70% and directly improved the marketing campaign ROI by 10% while ensuring the platform remains secure, scalable and cost efficient. So if you explain the project in such a way, you have to follow the points. The very first thing is the business goals. The next thing is the architecture. The next thing is your roles and responsibilities and the orchestration and talk about non-functional attributes and finally the cost and the finally the impact how you made the impact to your project. Thank you.